all right i gotta keep moving here with my edits the last edit that i did was cami it was a default or vanilla version of cami um i'll just open it up whatever hopefully this video will be short and opposing to the last one that i said would be short that turned out to not be short blah 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 okay so for cami she's got the hair drop she's got the boob drops basically her physics drops for her uh her initial idol i'll play it out and she has a blink animation and that's what it looks like and of course she's got boob jiggle I'm pretty sure she blinks am i missing something here she's not blinking uh oh did i forget to put a blink in this did i miss a character looks like it oh wow let's find a loop start all right, so there's the loop start. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm going to quickly make this blink animation here. I'm going to duplicate the frame, name the frame uh triple nine, put triple nine, and then uh I'll open it up, zoom in, edit the eye. I'm going to go with black for the eye here, just because that's the color of um well her eyelashes there clearly. Do the upper lid here. Put it over that black she initially had. Then to clarify that uh her lashes is moving down. Alright. So triple nine one. Save it out. Go into the animation. Open up the animation. So where it says loop start specifically, this is the idle. So I put idle there just to remind me. And then up top. I'll put prep just to remind me. Okay. Put a little gap there. So my blinking animation. All of this is gonna have to repeat the initial frame, which is actually zero zero, I believe. The initial frame should be up top. Let me put this here first. Alright. Now I'm gonna make a repeat. And I'm gonna repeat this three times. One two three and then on the, the third somewhere on the third i'm thinking the second no one two yeah yeah i'm thinking the third time all right let's go find that frame i just made which should be the start of the loop start which i just changed to zero actually so is it zero one did i just put the blink frame on the wrong thing zero no 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 yeah i did i put it on the wrong one it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter. So 9991. So open this bad boy up. Go find the 01. And it should be this. And just triple it out. Or rather add the, the 9 in. Frame count is fine. Apply. Close. Let's play it. Let's see if she blinks here. There we go. Got my blink. And as you can see, it's not every time she bounces. Perfect. Okay, so hair drop, boob drop, blink animation. That's what was added to Cami. Uh, in regards to a crouch, she's got the same physics drop. Basically, the, the bang drop, the boob drop. And, of course, I added a blink animation into it. But um, the, the focus or the priority for the last video was to animate this Cami. Uh, specifically in the crouch because MVC2 is infamous for not animating the crouch animations. So, I just uh, I drew one out. So now she has a crouching animation. I'll just play it out. And there it goes. Beautiful. In between videos, I did a little bit of tweaking, of course. Um, just just tweaking to the uh the 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 ponytail and a little bit of leg work to make sure that it's clean and consistent. Um, but with that being said, I actually do see something else I could tweak. That um yeah, I see something else I need to tweak here. Give me one sec. It should be a pretty simple fix. Which is this. A weird Nazi band. I don't know what, what the band is called. I just call it a Nazi band. But yeah, just tweak that so that it, it doesn't uh look weird. I'm going to copy it. Save it out. Hopefully I can just paste it over. Okay, boom, 
Boom. Oh, maybe I don't need to. Forearm. Forearm. According to this, that shouldn't be forearm right there. That should be uh some leg. Light, light, dark. So that should be leg. I made a mistake there, I think. Let me let me try to tweak this. Like this right here should be light. And then following that, I could do do a darker tone. If you know the transition, I might uh, darken both of those up, both of those up, so that the movement's gradual. Boom. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know. It's jarring me a little bit. That now it says it's dark. Thinking, 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 thinking. Yeah, it says it's dark right there. So maybe I could just two, do two dark, two dark pixels right there, and then call it a day. That's I, I'm not complaining. That's less work. Yeah, just too dark right there, and then just leave it alone. Even for these, I can go back and tweak them and put my dark frame in there or my dark pixels. It's a good transition there, I think. Okay. Well, I didn't plan to do more cami work here, but there you go. This should be the last one. Okay, in the previous video, I made this animation, this cami animation here. Yeah, that is better, actually, low-key. I'm skeptic about the brown that's used right there. I don't know if that's the same brown I have. See, it looks like it's, tra it's changing into a different brown. Just to be safe here, I'm going to color pick. I'm going to jump to the bucket, jump in, go over to the next frame. I'm going to bucket it. Yeah, it looks that looks naggingly, or rather, it looks annoyingly different. So I'm gonna do the bucket here for this. Just playing it safe. You can't have um my reshade doesn't play well with the uh, pixels that slightly jump to another texture because it'll it'll mix it in with something it shouldn't mix it in with if there's something applicable next to it. Perfect. Perfect. All right, save it. All right, cool. Jump back in animation, play it. Much better. Oh boy, uh, that that bothered me a little bit. Fix that weird uh Nazi band thing she has on her uh her arm there, to uh be slightly more consistent. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have an animated Cami Crouch as you can see there, and it looks immaculate. Any other tweaking I might do in between videos, I don't know. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this looks great. I'm going to save the animation, save the the sprites. Now I'm going to close it. Now we're gonna we're gonna move forward. Go back into characters. Uh, I started from A, went all the way down to Cami so far. Um, in alphabetical order, doing just vanilla characters. So far, I did Akuma, Amingo, Anakaris. <laughs> Has slight tweaks. Uh, I did BB Hood. I did Blackheart. I did Cable, and I just did Cami. So moving forward, obviously the next vanilla character is Captain America. Let's see what I got here. Let's see. Okay, so we have his idol. I do not think I tweaked anything on Captain America. Captain America's shtick, superpower wise, is he's the peak. Of human ability he's like he's a super soldier so he's like he's perfect physically um that means his mass is perfect too which means he's a bulky character which means if i want to i could put physics on his chest to uh emphasize the bulk of him as a character but i'm going to play the idol first and see if that's a necessity Okay, here's the kicker with Captain America. He has a hard he has a hard stop for his idol, right? But if you look closely at his chest, there's no overlap for the bottom of his chest, suggesting he's not as bulky. He's not as bulky as his power suggests. Something I I will add physics to is those wings 
those weird wings he has on his head. I need physics for those. Um, probably his boots too. The flaps on the top of his boots. I'm definitely gonna animate those flaps. I have to. That it just that jars me a little bit. <clears throat> it jars me a little bit that those aren't animated too. And he doesn't blink. And he looks he looks like a freaking robot because he doesn't blink. There's just something terrible looking, horrifying looking about the character when he don't blink. So first things first. Boom. So which one's the idol? Eleven or one? I'm gonna say one. So one is the idol animation. I'm gonna jump over, make a duplicate. Didn't mean to do that. Make a duplicate, rename the duplicate. I'm gonna do triples. So this is gonna be triple one because I I know for a fact this is the first frame I'm editing for this character. For the triple one, I'm just gonna do a blink. His blink is simple too. Looks like the pigment for his eyes, the darkest pigment for his eyes, is actually this brown. So it's too simple. Boom! It's like his eyes just disappear into the mask. And that's it. And I'm gonna, I'm going to change the name convention here. Let's let's do triple nine for this, so I don't get confused in the future. Save it out. I'm going to jump over to the animation. Simply plug this animation in. I'm going to. I'm going to drop down here. Make an invisible. Or unreadable blink text. I'm going to copy. And paste. The first frame. Looks like the CLSN boxes also. Uh, modify everything beneath it. So I don't have to worry about making a new set of uh, CL collision data. For the blink. Uh, 4 is fine. And then uh, for my naming convention. I think I triple nine it. So triple nine. He should blink for every every bounce here. Okay. I'll modify it later and just triple up the idle so that he doesn't blink for every bounce and it's every once in a while. But right now the focus, or rather what I'm focused on is adding physics here. So, what could I animate? Up, 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 down. This is the first down frame. I'm thinking his boots. I want to animate his boots here. So, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. The kicker is he's not really moving. He's not really moving. Up, down. This is the first. This is the first down. Seven is actually the first down. See, see how his boots are shifting up on the bottom, and then boom. They go down for the first time. Right here. So I'm thinking seven. For seven, I'm gonna edit. I'm just gonna go for it. I just wanna shift the boots up. I wanna I need some I need an animation for the boots. It's gonna it's freaking me out a little bit. So I'm gonna copy paste it. Shift it up. Being very careful here. I'm actually thinking. Uh, take this, slide it out one. Okay. Uh, trim, trim the outer boot somewhat. Okay. Since this is all shifting up, that means the bottom, the bottom has to go. So I'm on the bottom layer. I'm just gonna delete everything in the bottom layer below the boot. To emphasize that um that it's moving, that the bottom of the boot rather is moving here. And that should be it. Yeah, that's pr that's pretty solid. And then I'm I'm gonna take this red. Wait, let me trim. I need to trim the bottom of the boot. It's gonna aggravate me. Get on the top layer. Get this darker red. Slide that red over like that. not it's not taken I went to the bottom layer here to get that red that I need put that red under here and up here and that should be it that should be it so I save it close it let me back out okay um, four 
Okay, so seven is the beginning of the uh, the physics or the uh, you know his his pants um, reacting to his movement. So for this one, I have to do twice. I have an idea actually. Maybe I can make a shortcut here. Nope, can't can't do it. All right, so I'm gonna have to manually do this. I'm, I'll I'll just manually shift it up. It's fine. No skin off my teeth. All right, copy, paste, move up one, just one for this one specifically. Do a quick trim on, on the top so that I'm not shifting everything I don't want to shift. Doesn't move. Quick trim here. Okay. Now the bottom. So delete everything on the bottom. Like that. Let me make sure. Okay. Delete everything on the bottom. Do the same thing over here. Okay. Do the same thing on, on this side too. Okay. That actually looks fine to me. Save it, close it, reopen it. Now I need a secondary shift. For the secondary shift, hmm. Well, first of all, this has to come out. Because remember, I shifted it out on the previous frame too. So that has to come out. Save, close, reopen. All right, so I need the second shift. The second shift. I want to place emphasis on this moving outward. So I'm going to do my secondary shift out before I shift everything up. And now I'm going to shift all of this stuff. Or rather the bottom of the boot up again for the second time. So this is shift two. Okay. I just simply uh, control C, control V it. Again, clean all the things I don't want to move. All right. Very important part. Ooh, I hope I didn't make a mistake in the previous uh, frame here. I'm gonna have to have to double check. Feel like that uh that leaves room for error there. Okay, go up. Like so. Okay. All of the, the more minute things like uh, shaping the bottom of the boot, I can do that later when it's necessary. It's not necessary right now. Right now, the focus is just getting it to getting the shift. I could even add a pixel right here. I think so. I don't have to do it later. Yeah, I could do that. Actually, I could two point it. I could one point this. And then two point this in. I'll, I'll leave it like that. It's fine for me. Alright. Save it out. Save. Close it. Alright. So that's shift two. Now. How many frames are there exactly? So nine. Just keep in mind. Nine is the one I have to edit. Yeah. Nine is the final frame. Cool. So nine. I'm, I'm going to do a shift up. But just uh, the kicker here is it's going to be a, a one shift. Meaning I'm just going to shift it up one frame. Not one frame, but one pixel. And the reason I choose to do only one here is because it's falling back into place, technically. I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, 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 it's falling back in place, so this should be fine. That's bothering me a little bit. I'll look into that in a second. I'm sure there's something up with this uh this part of the boot. I just don't know what. So I have to uh I'll entertain it later. I'm doing the uh what should I call that that phase? The post production. In the post production phase, I worry about tweaking the uh 
that issue with the boot there that I can I, that's glaring for me. I'm going to copy this and then shift it over because remember it has the one shift. Save it. Close it. Okay, that should be it. You should have proper physics in his boots now. I can already see something I need to, to fix. Pixel wise. Which is this. Okay. Close. And, all right, let me back out. Take a look at it. Okay. What I'm looking at is his right, your left. That leg specifically right above the ankle. Making sure it's not warping like crazy. Because again, my uh, my reshade, my reshade is no joke. It'll pick up on that stray pixel and it'll blip it in and out on the animation, and it'll be a, a nightmare for me to deal with. Okay, I like that. I don't uh, I don't really like this part. Man. Take that out. All right. Alright, I see something blipping in right there. Looks like a two is two pointing. But what does the original boot look like? Boom, boom, boom. So that shouldn't two point. Yeah, I see that. That shouldn't two point. I'm gonna delete that. That shouldn't two point down right there. Right here. It shouldn't two point. Also it should gradient. So I'm gonna throw this gradient back. Right here. Save it, close it, that should look natural. Yep, no more. Okay. That looks good to me. I don't see anything jarring. I see uh, his left leg. He's got pixels blipping in right there. Seven, eight. Specifically right here. That pixel blips in, and then it does that. That, eh. I don't know. That bothers me a little bit. And it doesn't blip back in either. Oh. Yeah, that's going to annoy me. Let me let me let me tweak this. Let me see if I can get this. If I can get this fixed. I wonder why it's drawing that way too. I didn't do this. I don't know why it screwed up. Pretty sure I didn't edit this this uh whatever number of frame this is. Was it zero eight or did I? I think I did edit zero eight. I'm lying. Uh, the line would be right here, I think. Or would it be lower? Let's try lower. Let's try that. Yeah, that looks awful. Let's keep it high. Let's try that out. That's better. Sorry, I don't like pixels just like blipping in. It'll freak me out. All right, let's let's save that for now. Let's jump into the animation itself. Don't have to rename anything. That's the the fun part about this because I um didn't add any frames. I just edited the existing frames. Now let's look at his boots. Okay. He's got a slight. It's got a slight movement to the uh the boots or whatever. Let me look at the number eight, nine, ten. I like that. It's a very, it's barely noticeable, to be honest. Nine, ten. Hmm. I wonder. Let me edit eleven. I'm gonna do a, just a quick drop for eleven, just to see. Just because I'm curious here. I'm gonna drop 11 down to see if it it plays more if it it shows more of the physics itself. This should like exaggerate the uh the dropping of the bottom of the boot a little bit, which is to to me should be this should improve it. But there's only one way to find out. Let's blow the eraser up get the top here because I don't want this I don't want any of this to shift let's get the top here 
Okay. Let's save that out. I have a nagging suspicion that'll help. Save it. Jump in. Play it. I like that. And what is that? 11. Okay. Yeah, that's 11. And 11 goes into my blink. Which is triple nine. And if I wanted to. Triple nine. What's before triple nine? There's no zero zero. Yeah, there's no zero zero frame. Okay. I thought there was a zero zero frame. Let me jump in. Back out. There is a zero zero frame. It's just not in the dang. It's not in the dang animation. When did I take zero zero out? Are you crazy? Wow. I don't remember removing it. Maybe it's the blink when I replace the blink. Zero zero always goes up front, so I'm gonna paste it here. Something's up there. I don't recall erasing my zero zero. Apply. Let's try that. Oh. Whoa. Three zero 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 one two three zero zero. Oh, zero doesn't belong there. I think it I think that's what it's trying to tell me. That doesn't belong there. There's zero zero. It's placed in a different spot, meaning it's not in order. I let me take that out so that jitter's gone. My fault. Play it. Yeah, it's smooth again. Blinks every time, which I'll, I'll tweak later. But the focus here is just to tweak the boots a little bit. See it? He's got like a slight animation on the boots now, which is fine. Another thing I want to tweak too, that I think would be really cool. Up, 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 down. This is the first down. Is I want to tweak these weird ear feathers here. To me, these are very, these are super awkward. But you have to. It's Captain America. This is this what he looks like. So what I'm gonna do is just a quick shift up of this ear feather thing, whatever it's called, like that, just on the tip. Then I'm gonna take this blue and I'm gonna shift this blue up too. I'm going to replace the blue underneath with his original blue like so and that's just the tip of the ear sliding up and then I'm going to move forward one ooh I see the ear in the back too oh you tried to trick me there <laughs> alright ooh and I can't do it cause the uh the layer god dang it alright let's let's uh stretch out the layer here image editor I believe it was image property Let's uh, adjust the height. One, two, three, four. I'll do about five. I don't need much. Zoom in. Now I'm going to attempt to bend the bend this ear up too. One, two. Actually, I think two will work. I don't want the entire ear to shift up. I think two will work. Hey, that might even work. Just bend it like that. That's a weird bend, though. That's suggesting an arc. I don't know. I'll save it. That might be a headache, but whatever. All right. So now we have the uh, the weird uh, Hermes wings or whatever they're called bending up slightly. Go to the next frame, and in the next frame, I want it to move even more. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to manually draw this. And what I'm going to do here is bend it up and then up like that so that it's straight. And I'm going to take this, bend it up and then up like that again so it's straight. Take this, shift it up like that. Take the original blue. Place a little bit of emphasis on the fact that it's, it's a... Uh, the ear stretching up like that the 
back of the head. I don't have to worry about the back of the head. I don't think. Take the eraser and just delete it. Like so. Move up. Like that. And that should be it. I can't, by the way, I can't see because it's white on white. But I've, I'm just using my brain here. And, uh, you know, making the appropriate decision. Let's uh, jump down to image property. I totally forgot to do this. One, two, three, four, five. Five up. Shift this back ear up. Before I forget. Actually, I think I could just do the shift the, uh, the blue. This blue in its entirety. Ah, I thought I had it picked. Yeah, I think I could shift this blue in its entirety and we should be okay. And then take this and then just put it there. Like that. To really emphasize the movement there. And delete what's left over. Okay. I think that'll suffice. And this is the second movement uh, in the upward direction for the, the, the weird Hermes wings or whatever they're called. And then there's two more, two more frames going down. So I'm definitely going to need this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. It's going to, I'm, I'm going to edit it physically, but I'm going to copy it first. Jump over so it can save me the work of um, trying to remember exactly where I put what do that let's drop the layer to make sure it lines up okay I don't want him to have like a super super massive forehead or anything like that because I'm not paying attention okay slide it down here now what edit could I do here uh first of all let's delete the back of the head so there's no overlap in here there we go. I immediately noticed that. That was pretty jarring. Save it. Close it. Open it. <laughs> Jump back up. Now, I want this. I want this ear to go straighter. So would it be like this? I think it would be like this. But I think it would get taller too. So let's do this. Just delete all that. Let's take this put it here and here I think that looks better it's slightly shifting forward I don't know if I want it I don't know if I want the wing to shift forward though that might aggravate me let's I don't want it to, to shift forward I don't know I'm thinking I have to though yeah, I think I have to shift the shift it forward slightly, man. I don't want to. I want it to stay on the same uh, plane it's on, but I don't think I could do that reasonably. Let's just screw it. Yeah, I don't have an option here. I'll just do this. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever, that's fine. Don't worry, I'll get to. I'll look at it later, and I'll be able to, you know, make judgment from there. But for now, that's fine. That's fine. For this ear, I'm going to put it on a two-point axis. So I'm just going to shift it up like this slightly. Delete whatever's left over. And that should be that should be okay. Again, I can't see it's white on white. But I'm making my best uh, assessment here. And that just moves the tip of the ear. Or the tip of the uh, the Hermes wing. Okay. Save it. Close it. And that should be what I'm looking for there. Go back. Let's onion scan this. Make sure this is lining up. Okay. Turn the onion scan off. Alright. Okay. So if I did that right. There should be like wing movement. Uh, with that being said, I still needed to shift back down into uh, into place. So what I'm going to do is take 9 
and I'm going to copy 9 like so and then I'm going to put it over this one which is frame 11 so that the animation goes back falls back into place yeah and then on the, the back layer I'm going to delete it delete everything that's uh, in it in the frame or whatever alright let's click the marks and just re-clean it again again it's white on white I can't see the artifact in it just there save it close it save it jump over to the animation play it uh oh there's a jitter there not good where's this jitter oh whoa no 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 so 11 11 is the jitter so I'll click onion skin do a quick back out shift 11 back up okay turn on your skin off I'm gonna save it jump back over to the animation play the animation there we go to be careful here make sure that the ear is moving there it goes moving up there's the other movement up there's 11 movement back down and then there's movement back in place awesome and then this ends with uh, a triple nine triple, are triple nine is in one the same I think triple nine and, and one are the same thing let's uh triple up the idol so that he's not blinking every time he, he takes a breath one two three there we go and now the blink is on the end apply play it he shouldn't blink every time now better okay so I edited the wings on his ear I edited his boots it's so minute it's like the edits are so slight you can barely tell I edited it right which is pretty awesome I like that I like that it's very it's not noticeable but now the character blinks he's got boot physics he's got the Hermes wings moving with uh, with his motion uh, I thought about adding chest physics but I uh, it's not necessary I know Captain America's peak of a man's physical ability but if you look at the the way his chest is drawn in this art there's no overlap for his pectoral muscles which means they can't bounce they can't bounce and flap it's like he's he's either his pose I'm thinking his pose maybe the way he's posing he's tightening his chest right here so it's it's not possible to move that's not how muscle works when flexing when muscle flexes you can't it's not possible to bounce it so I'm gonna save go back save even though that would look amazing to have that physic there it doesn't make sense but yeah I think I can end the video here that's just a quick edit I wanted to do there I wonder if I could speed this up it's one frame where are all these frames one frame two, oh, I'm gonna make this two it's just so I can see my physics or rather my new animations I added in here three I'm gonna do two for these Two. I want him to slow down. Two, two. But he's gonna slow down for the drop like this. So this is this is the last frame here. I can three that out. Let's see what that looks like first. Okay, I saw it. Was that too slow? Okay, that's one frame. One frame. Where's the frames I just edited? I know I just edited the uh the weird wings. One, one, one. So that can't be it. Where's the ones I edited? Two, two. There it goes. So I think two would be good. Yeah, I think two would be good. So I'm gonna tool them out. Jump back in. What was that nine? Should be hard to find these. I'm thinking it's eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So if eight, nine, ten, and eleven are my culprits, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna copy, paste all of those. 
copy and paste over these. I'm pretty sure these are the frames 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 18, 19. Okay. Apply, close, play it. There you go. It's more noticeable. See the wings on his head? Wait a minute. That white on white's killing me. But yeah, that's far more noticeable. I like that. But yeah, those are the edits, man. Look at his boots. See the little bounce on his boots? He's now got physics on the flaps on his boots, which is a simple animation. I'm shocked they didn't, the original artist didn't add in. Uh, he's got blinking animations because he's a human. He no longer looks horrifying for not blinking. Uh, and also, uh, the, the Hermes wings on his mask, they now flap when he moves. And that's the end result. Looks beautiful. Alright, this is video one. I have no clue how long this video is. I'm guessing like 30 minutes, maybe an hour. But um, I'm going to close it out. And then in the next video, I've, I'll edit his crouch. All right. God bless.